Hi guys, it's Cara. Welcome back to the Rampatina channel. Today I have a tutorial on this bandana. Um, this bandana is actually using six colours and this time I'm just going to try it out with four. But yeah, this is what the bandana looks like. So yeah, let's get started. It's really, really easy. It's basically a big half granny square so if you already know how to make that then this is going to be super duper easy you just add some like chains to it to make the um the ties for your bandana yeah super easy and quick so let's get on to it these are the yarns i'll be using i don't have the label for this anymore so i'm going to hopefully find a picture of it on the screen here. It's the Serdar Snuggly um, in this nice pink and dark purple colour. Then I'll be using this light purple colour from Aldi. It's the So Crafty Double Knit Yarn in purple. I don't think this is available on the website anymore so you just have to work out for yarns. It's a bit of a shame that you can't really find it anymore. Um, you might be able to find it on eBay, but yeah. And the last colour is this um, Knit Craft by Hobbycraft Everyday DK in the colour Mint, Mint Green. So yeah, I've just picked out four DK yarns and I will be using a four millimetre crochet hook. And I think I want the colour order to go like this. Yeah. Okay, let's start. So, taking your first colour, you're going to make a slip knot with a large tail. I've um, made it a habit now to make extra long tails because in the past I would make them really really small and they were really difficult to weave in and then they would just like come out because they were too short so remember to make long tails because my crochet granny square jumper the orange blue and multicolored one it has really short um, tail ends and it's just impossible to hide them so just going to embrace the, the, the ends poking out in that jumper, I think. So, slip knot. And I'm going to make my ring. Um, if you know me and if you've seen my videos, you know I don't like magic circles because I am in the Secret Yardery Facebook group. And someone had posted that they had made this gorgeous blanket and they were using magic circles and once they put it in the wash all of those magic circles came undone so she had these massive holes in her blanket so since seeing that i cannot do a magic circle ever again i'm so scared that happening scared of that happening so i like to do four chains and slip stitch into that first one to make a ring and you know this won't come undone in the washing machine because it's a sturdy circle it's a sturdy ring so then I go straight into the middle and make a standing single crochet then chain one to make a beginning double crochet then you want to make three more double crochets into that ring to make four in total. There you go, you've got four. Then you want to chain two. and place four more double crochets. So then you want to chain one 
and fasten off. That is your first round. A long tail. So it's not really looking like a triangle right now. Look, it's looking a bit lopsided, but it takes shape when you add your other colors. So we're gonna grab our next color. Unravel it a bit. <laughs> oh, you know what? I like to just drop it on the floor. Get it out the way. And I am going to make another slip knot. What I like to do is tuck this tail in. So I'm going to go in between the standing double crochet that we made, beginning double crochet we made at the start, which is the single crochet chain one. We're going to go in between that and the double crochet next to it so that you're left with three over here. So you want to go in between those, stick your crochet hook in there. and do another beginning double crochet. So a single crochet, chain one. And then you want to do three more double crochets into that space in between those two double crochets. Like that. So you want to jump straight onto that corner, this one, this chain two space, and do three double crochets. Make sure you crochet over your end so you don't have to weave them in later. So you've got three chain two and three double crochets back into that chain space. And then you want to, oh, it's on the end, jump into this space. So in between one, two, three, the third and the fourth. You are going to put four double crochets in between. Then chain one, fasten off. I'm just going to cut off these ends just so they're not in my way and it's a good idea to just do this as you go so it's all out of the way and it looks neat and tidy oh. ah. so it's a pretty easy pattern you basically want to put Four double crochets in between the first and the second, then do three double crochets into the next gap, and then when you get to the corner you do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets all into there, then three double crochets into the next gap, and then four double crochets in between the last two double crochets. And it's the exact same thing over and over again. You don't need to flip, you're just working, always working from the right to the left. So I'm going to just show you one more time.
Now you just want to make a total of 14 rows and then I will be back to show you how to add the tie so you can tie it around your head. <laughs> Okay, so I have done 14 rows and comparing it with the filbert bandana that I made a couple of months ago, um, I'm now noticing that I think I used a bigger hook. I think I probably used the 4.5 just because this one has turned out a tiny bit smaller. I did a bit of experimenting and this is what I like the best. I believe this is called a crab stitch. Um, but I'll show you how I did it. So you actually want to start crocheting from the left to the right. So I just did a slip knot like usual. Then I went into the leftmost stitch and did a standing single crochet. And then you want to single crochet but backwards. So I'm going to put my hook into the next stitch. Like, oh, it's quite tricky to get the hang of. Into that stitch and single crochet. Okay, I want to tuck my ends in, but I don't know how I'm going to do this backwards. So. Let's see, so then you go into the next stitch, this one, and I'm going to put my loose ends behind it, pull up, a yarn, pull up your yarn, yarn over and pull through. Right, why is that really loose? Can you see that? Let's do it again. Oh, it's fine. Try that again. It's a bit better. Yeah, it's quite, um, it's definitely weird because you're going backwards. But it has a really cool effect. So yeah, I'm just going to crochet all along to the end and then we will add in our ties. So yeah, this is the um sort of edging uh, effects you get from this stitch. It looks really cool, it's very like twisty. So yeah, I'm just going to continue that along. When you get to the corner, I'm going to put my hook in this stitch, but just leaving this loop. So I'm going to go through the loop first, it's very tight, and then put my crochet hook back, pull up a loop if I can, yeah. and then single crochet. I'm going to do that again for the second one, so I'm going through that loop, then going back. And then you can 
continue on. The edging is all done. I think it turned out really cool. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing this uh, crab stitch. I think it's a crab stitch. Let me look it up. But I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. But I'm definitely going to be doing this on all of my filbert bandanas because I think it adds a little, little touch. Um, and I think that dark border really completes it. I got it from a pattern. Yeah, it is called the crab stitch. I got it from a pattern um by king cole it was a scarf and hat pattern and it was in there and i remembered it and i was like oh, i really want to use that edging on something else so i'm glad that worked out so now i'm going to do the straps the like ties but yeah super easy i'm just gonna make another slip knot one on either side I am going to make 35 chains. So I'm just going to go into this, going in between the first and the second. So do a standing, oh, standing single crochet. Sorry, my wrists click so much when I crochet. So if you can hear it, just yeah it's my wrist they click every time like every other time i do a single crochet i swear <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna make 35 chains snip off a small tail pull it tight and then i do the same on the other side and this is what the filbert bandana looks like on all complete i hope you enjoyed this really easy and simple bandana tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you so much for watching subscribing and commenting your support means so much to me and inspires me to create more tutorials and other crochet related videos don't forget to check out all my links below as i'll be hosting a giveaway on my instagram at cara ella very soon thanks again see you in the next one bye